to be near Menachem Begin for the last time. There are dozens of people there, running, really masses. And it was really, it was really so suitable for him that all the people, everybody who loved him, the everyday people came to the funeral. That's how he wanted this. <laughs> Begin is the embodiment of a servant of his people. The standard by which he measured himself was the ethical and moral standards of Judaism and the Jewish state to which he devoted his life. Begin's Israel is an Israel of proud Jews who are not going to take anti-Semitism anymore, but are going to unite and fight. And that's a powerful lesson from Begin's life. Begin once said, you call me a terrorist, but I call myself a freedom fighter. Everything I did was for the freedom of the Jewish people. Here I stand, in humility and with pride, as a son of the Jewish people and as one of the generation of the Holocaust and redemption. Begin believed that the most important task that he carried out in his life was not the premiership, but the revolt and the commanding of the Yogo. This was the most important thing. He was a man really of that fighting force, those early years of Israel. He wanted to be buried alongside two fighters from the other town alongside Aliza's grave as a simple Jew. He's buried not on Har Herzl, where most Israeli prime ministers are buried, but rather on the Mount of Olives, where Jews for thousands of years would go to be buried. <coughs> and his burial place is the perfect expression of who he was and who he remains in Israeli memory. Rise, you struggle, you make sacrifices to achieve and guarantee the prospect and hope of living in peace for you and your people, for your children and their children.